Okay guys, in this shake tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build your own macro and make your own icon and put it in your tool set with everything else. As you can see, I have my macros here. My plug my macros plugins. Macros actually. And as you can see, I have my own tab called Eric, named it after me, and these are my macros that I've built myself. Um, so we're going to build our own macro from scratch and we're going to do an edge blur. As you can see, here is the original keyed footage. Let me zoom in here, look at the edges right here. Okay, and after we apply the edge blur that we're going to make here soon. Now look. See there? There it is now, and then here it is before, and here it is after. So we're going to go through and put this together and make a macro, and then we're going to make an icon for it. So let's start from scratch. So we have our green screen here. The first thing we're going to do is add a color, color space. Okay? Just like we did here, I've already got this one pre-built, as you can see. What it looks like after I add the color space and switch it to YUV. So I'm going to go back here, go to my color space parameters, and switch the out space to YUV. Now, in between, after this color space, I'm going to add two blurs. One, two. And as you can see, it put them over here because I have that node selected, so I'm going to extract them. And put them over here. So now we have our color, splay, color space, blur, blur, and then we now we need to put one more color space and switch the um, RGB to YUV. Now our image is back to normal. Now we can go into our blurs and let's make our first blur 10. And let's make our second blur maybe like 3. Okay. Now as you can see we have our color space blur blur color space so now let's go ahead and add a key light and I'll show you that it worked we'll key this out and now as you can see our edges are quite smooth so how do we make this into our own uh, macro well okay I want to show you so here's what we do select the nodes that you want included in your macro draw a box around them right click go down to macro make macro this will bring up this little dialog box. First thing you want to do is name it. I'm going to call this Eric's Edge Blur. Now the macro toolbox is where you want this macro to go. If you want it in the image toolbox, you put image. If you want it in the key, you put key. I made my own shelf, Eric, so I'm going to put Eric. If I was to put uh, Kentucky, I would have another tab here at the bottom, Kentucky, after um, I say OK, and it would have this macro in it. But I'm going to include it in my tool set. So there we go. Now we have our options down here. This is what controls you want included in the macro that you're putting together. Okay. So as you can see, we have this image input for the color space the first color space so we want that one so we have something to put our input into now let's look at our blurs okay let's see here we want our float X and Y pixels and maybe our spread too and I'm going to leave this second blur the same because we're not going to adjust it we're going to leave it and I'm going to say okay Now, as you can see, when I go to my Eric's tab, boom, there's Eric's edge blur. Okay, now I want to make an icon for this. Now, see, what this is, is this is just all three of these, all four of these macros, uh, nodes in one macro. So, I'm going to select my original picture, right-click edge blur and branch it off. As you can see, here we go. Down here, we have the pixels, the blur pixels that we picked okay and I can take it into this key light like so and our edge blur is fine and dandy everything's good we can control our first blur right here and we just have one node okay so there's our macro now let's make an icon which I've already done I've made an icon right here 
Let me frame it up. Now your icon size, you want to make sure that your icon is going to be 75 by 40, okay? Make your icon 75 by 40. Make it how you want. And now, once you have your icon made, and we can make another tutorial on how to exactly make an icon, but you can make anything into an icon. We're going to add a file out node. Image. File out. Now I'm going to navigate to my InReal folder. It'll be under your username, under your home directory. In real. Okay, and in your in real directory, there's an autosave, an icons, an include, a settings folder. Go into your icons folder. And we're going to put it in here. So our file name is going to be Eric, because that's the bin it's in. Dot. Now the exact same name that you called the macro, which is Eric's Edge Blur. Dot nri okay so you got the name of the bin the name of the macro then dot nri okay say okay now we're going to go up here and render file out nodes render and that rendered out our icon now we have it in our icon folder now we need to modify the macro itself so navigate to your in real in real in real folder be under users your name in real go into your include startup folder now if you scroll down if you can look here there's Eric's edge blur okay so we're gonna go on down you'll see a UI folder there'll be an Eric's edge blur in this one too right there it is I'm gonna double click it and open it up this opens it up into Xcode okay now as you can see there's this little line right here it says and Eric's edge blur in, in parentheses this little and is telling it to look for the text so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna remove that and symbol and then save it okay close that down I'm gonna go back into shake I'm gonna close shake yes I'll save this as listen five just in case we'll save it to our desktop Okay. And we quit shake. Let me fire shake back up. Let's go to our Eric's tab. And there we go. Here it is. Eric's edge blur with our icon and all ready to go. So this has been a quick, quick run through of how to make your own macros. Put them on your own custom shelf or one of the shelves that's already there. And put your own custom icon with it. So I hope you've learned something. I really do. Let me let me um, give you an example here. Let me bring this picture back in. Let me go to key. Key lot. Let's key this out. Okay. Now look real close at her head, at her hair. Okay. Let's go right before or right after our image in. Let's go to my shelf. Let's get our custom edge blur and boom as you can see now our edge is nice and smooth thanks to our custom made macro hope you learned something guys we'll see you next time